There's any number of things you can do to help Wikipedia. You can classify pictures all day long, and that helps Wikipedia. You can fix grammar mistakes without ever writing an article in your life, and that helps Wikipedia. You can just leave feedback on article pages saying, this was confusing, or I am missing an illustration here. That helps Wikipedia. There, I could go on. You could fix dead links. There's a ton of ways to help Wikipedia. But in the end, when you talk to people about Wikipedia, they imagine, oh, I will suddenly have to write the article, history of the, uh, you know, of World War II. How could I even start? And they don't. So even as I acknowledge there's a, a number of ways to help Wikipedia, I also acknowledge it's not for everyone. Uh, so it's okay that we can't convert some people. Some people will just never edit Wikipedia, and that's fine. So what else are we looking for besides that group of self-motivated editors? We're looking for community initiatives. We're looking for ideas coming from you that we can support and fund. And even if you don't need funding, we can still support it and provide tools and, and, and contacts and things. We're looking for initiatives to come from your community. We believe you know what you need, what would work. Um, we have some ideas too. We have some experience too. We will share that experience with you. We will tell you if we think it's not going to work. But we believe in discussing this. Uh, those of you who have some experience with our grant making know that our grant making is based on dialogue, on a talk page, on the wiki, in public, where we actually discuss your proposal. We don't just say yes or no. In fact, our discussion is aimed at finding a way to say yes, to fund this. Even if you come with an idea that is not quite so convincing, we actually try to help you make it more convincing. And, and reshape it a little into a form that we feel can be funded. The other thing we're looking for is external partners, partners who are outside the movement, uh, partners who are nonprofits or government agencies, um, or, or professionals who are interested in partnering with us on our educational mission. For, for whatever reason, our interests will intersect, and we may find that partnership to be useful. Um, one example is the partnerships that we're crafting with mobile companies as part of Wikipedia Zero. In some countries, those mobile carriers are more involved than in others. Uh, another example is uh, nonprofits like the Africa Center here in South Africa, an organization that is not a Wikimedia organization, but has a lot of, of uh, common uh, goals and shared interests and has been very, very sympathetic and helpful to our uh, community. Um, so that's what we're looking for. What can we offer you? Well, yes, we can offer funding, first of all. We are in the happy position of not being strapped for cash like most nonprofits. We actually have this amazing asset of the Wikipedia fundraiser that allows us to resource our movement fairly flexibly. We don't have limitless funds. We are still responsible and accountable to our donors to make responsible use of funds, which is why we sometimes say no. But we, we, we are not constrained. We will never say no to an excellent, promising idea because we ran out of money. That has never happened so far. I don't expect it to happen in the coming few, in the, in the reasonably near future either. So we have money to support you. We have funds that we are eager to invest in Africa. So this is available. And if you want to start talking about how to begin and what do I need to be and whether I need to be a legal organization, short answer, no. Uh, talk to me, right? Uh, sometime during the conference, um, ask for my business card, write me an email later, etc. I'm eager to discuss funding with all of you. We can offer you networking. We have a global perspective. We know Wikipedians from all around the world with all kinds of interests and skill sets. If you need someone to help you with scalable vector graphics, we can probably connect you with a Wikipedian who would be happy to help you. You just don't know about each other. He doesn't know you need him. You don't know he exists. We can help with that. If you need someone to help you get statistics, we can introduce you to Eric Zakten, who, uh, as, as a that Lingo has found out is a tremendous resource in finding uh, data and creating beautiful graphs for you. 
Um, so really, turn to us with questions, and we can help hook you up with appropriate resources. We also have experienced Wikipedians and program leaders and project managers and, and developers working at the foundation, people who have done this before, maybe not in your country or in your language, uh, but who can offer you actual concrete advice. And we try to make our uh, grant making and our support of the community be sort of full service. You don't just get a check and goodbye and let's meet in six months when you give us a report. We actually try to be very, very supportive of you during your work, during your project, uh, before your project. And some, some of you have had experience with this. Um, and we are, we are eager to offer you any kind of help we, we can. What we would like to learn, finally, I think this is my last slide, what we would like to learn coming here. We want to know more about you, every one of you, how you came to be involved in Wikimedia, what motivates you, what do you contribute about or around, what ways do you contribute in. If you don't contribute, what is keeping you from contributing? That's very interesting for us. Um, and to that end, I hope we can maybe arrange some kind of survey during the conference uh, that we will obviously optionally uh, offer to you and maybe you can all take it and tell us more about you, about your group, about your community. Uh, that would really help us. I've already heard a lot of interesting things this morning in, in the, the state of the movement presentations. For example, just to give you an example, the, the point about admin support, lack of administrative support in blocking manuals, that was news to me and it is something I think I can do something about. So it's a good thing I've learned about it today. I'm going to do something about that. So I want to hear all of this from all of you. I'm sure I'm still missing a lot of context, even though I know most of it. So, we want to do that. We want to learn how we can support you better, what resources you feel we might put at your disposal. Um, we want to answer your questions. We know that a lot of this information, all of this information about us at least, is up there on Meta uh, in English. And we also know that reading a wall of text is far less appealing than just talking to this person that you just had lunch with. So please use this rare opportunity that we are all in the same room. It's an opportunity that has, has, uh, uh, doesn't come around very often. It has cost money and time for all of us to be here. Let's make the most of it. Um, and don't be shy. Talk to us. Ask us questions about anything at all. If we can't help or don't know the answer, we will say so. So don't hesitate. Just approach us and use this opportunity for dialogue. And in case you don't know who us is, uh, this is Anasuya. Anasuya, say hello. Anasuya, my boss, director of grant making at the foundation. This is Adeli from the mobile team that runs uh, the, the Zero program in Africa. And I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> so thank you for your time. Uh, questions? Yes. Um, um, I, I must make a statement before we go to questions. Um, this is a Wikipedia Foundation Global South Strategy related to Africa. It is not a grant making, grant evaluation matrix and grant report. So I would expect questions to be based on this for now. And comments, questions? Anything you want to ask? Asaf, I, I don't want to spend too much time. Uh, I mean, you mentioned the, the uh, Swahili uh, 2009 initiative. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I know if you tomorrow with me, we can discuss it there because I also uh, had it, uh, have, it, have it on my list. Uh, but, you know, the major point from the side of the community was not uh, that um, the, syntax of, um, the syntax of Wikipedia was disregarded, it was rather the syntax of Kiswahili which was disregarded, what is the, which is a necessary outcome if you encourage students uh, to use Google Translation Kit in order to win one of five laptops. Yes, I agree. Yes. 
Vasak, you mentioned something about um, having access to the list of most active users or at least active users in different cultures. Is this something you would be able to uh, give to uh, fire starters who are here who would want to connect with those users in order to say, hopefully form a an editing cell that will be in contact with, with each other and maybe that can result in a group from the Indirectly, yes. Uh, I can't just give you people's usernames or emails because, like I said, not everyone chooses to disclose where they're from on their public user page, and certainly not everyone discloses their email on Wiki, and so it would not be ethical for me to just give other people's emails without their permission. But what I'm happy to do is to serve as matchmaker to anyone here who wants to get in touch with Wikipedians in a certain country, because of the access to information I have as a foundation employee, I'm happy to be the go-between and reach out. I can reach out to those users and say, hey, there's this person who would like to collaborate and have a chat. Are you willing for me to connect you? I mean, most of them, no doubt, will say yes. And then I will send an email introducing you, and you can take it from there. I'm absolutely happy to do this for any one of you for any country. Good news, mobile editing is here. It's working today from smartphones. Um, it's, it's fairly friendly, I have done it myself. I'm not giving away my keyboard just yet, but in a pinch it'll do. Uh, people do use it and edit using it. Um, there are improvements planned for this. We are receiving a lot of user feedback and making it even more streamlined, even easier to edit. It is certainly a technical engineering goal for us. I'm not from the engineering side, so I didn't go into much detail here. But this is very much something we at the foundation are working on. We realize that a lot of the growth of Wikimedia in general, certainly in Africa, will come from mobile devices, very often exclusively on mobile devices. Many people just never see the keyboard. All they have is a mobile device. I don't know that we will ever really get to a point where feature phones, dumb phones, uh, can hit it. I, I think that's just a little too crazy to ever become reality. But we know that smartphones are increasingly available. Previous generation smartphones are, are uh, uh, coming to Africa, etc. And so I really hope very, very soon a lot of Africans will be able to edit on the mobile devices. Yeah, and these days you can buy a smartphone for about $50 in South Africa, a 500 rand smartphone. Yeah. Uh, did, did you hear the uh, I was just um, wondering, yeah, so you talk about how you're missing out on a lot of voices and different forms of knowledge and things like that. Do you think that um, Wikipedia is hospitable to um, forms of knowledge that might not be written down? Or I was having a discussion uh, with Douglas earlier because, it, as you said, the seven-year-old um, rules and regulations that are in place in terms of referencing and sourcing information, but. If you look at Africa, the information might not come from institutional sources, etc., etc. So, how, how might you deal with that, or how how does that kind of knowledge intersect with Wikipedia? So, that's an excellent question, and the short answer is no. Wikipedia is currently not hospitable to that kind of knowledge, and it is very much up to us, those of us who do think it should be at least more hospitable uh, to, to oral knowledge, to traditional knowledge, with provisos, with whatever methods and procedures need to be put in place to distinguish it from what was published in Nature magazine, etc. Um, um, I know that um, it will take a shift 
in the mindset of a lot of influential and entrenched Wikipedians, particularly in the large established Wikipedias. Um, there are a couple of rays of hope here. One is some very able Wikipedians have given this a lot of thought. Uh, one of them is with us, uh, Peter Gallert in the audience, who I think will have a talk about this later in this conference. That's what's called an excellent question. Uh, be sure to attend. Uh, Peter has some very interesting ideas that I've had the pleasure of uh, hearing uh, last year, and uh, I think that is certainly one promising direction. It would take more than Peter to do it, uh, but it's, it's something that we are actually actively supporting uh, with a small grant to help uh, pilot it, to help sort of show more than Peter talking, you know, show something on Wiki. How would a moral citation, what would it look like? What, how could it work to make it a little more tangible for those Wikipedians who need convincing? So that's one thing we're actively doing right now. Uh, previously, there was uh, a, a different attempt from a more academic research perspective by uh, Achal Pravala, uh, who made a movie uh, to basically put the case, make the case for oral citations and why they matter and why they are needed on Wikipedia. This was in 2011, 2010, 2011. And uh, he did this, he created that movie, he presented it at Wikimania. Uh, he tried to start a discussion about it on English Wikipedia to maybe start accepting oral citations. Uh, the response was very negative and very strong. And Achal himself was not uh, enough of, a, of an insider to really sort of duke it out himself. He basically said, look, I've, I've done all this, I've made a whole movie to convince you yes. You're not receptive to this, maybe later. That's sort of where it is. Um, he may actually, I think he's in South Africa. He's coming tomorrow. He's coming tomorrow. So that'll be a chance to, to, to connect with him and get his perspective on this as well. Um, but yeah, so these are, these are two rays of hope. The third ray of hope, I would say, is smaller Wikipedias. In a smaller Wikipedia, particularly one that is uh, edited from more or less one country, you have a much higher chance to gather 40 people in a room and have a discussion and actually a room to support oral citations in one way or another. Then, you know, a year later, you can do some kind of study and show the larger Wikipedias, the more entrenched Wikipedias, we did this, we didn't need your permission, we just did this on our small wiki and look, it's working well for us and you know, I don't know, only 3% of oral citations turned out to be nonsense. That's very good, yeah. actually. Yeah. So, you know, that's another thing that could be done. Yeah. Sure. Very small add-on to that, uh, because that's exactly what we're planning. So thank you, thank you, Asaf, for making an advertisement for our talk. We have a combined talk tomorrow. Uh, Ashal Prabhada, the originator of the idea. So it was his brainchild and, and me. Uh, unfortunately, it's one of the breakout things, so you'll have to decide against someone else. Um, but I have yet another talk, and I talk about a lot of research uh, activities that, uh, I don't know, I think after I give that talk, the guys from the foundation won't talk to me anymore because I'll I'll outline how a Wikipedia would look like, would probably look like a, a language edition if an indigenous group of people had their say. And believe me, it's not going to be anything like uh, English, German, or even Swahili Wikipedia. So I, I hope I can keep you on the ball with that. But I wanted to ask a question specifically to uh, Asaf. Uh, and that is the following. You see, I'm an academic and I believe in uh, research at, at universities, particularly at universities of applied science, solving problems in the real world. That might be too optimistic or I might live on, on a cloudy cool land. But the question is, would Wikimedia Foundation in principle uh, support pure research projects that are designed to solve a problem or a challenge on Wikipedia without actually making edits, but on a theoretical basis. i give you an example. Uh, there was this very, I hope the author is not in the room, I would say, there was this very superficial study on what makes people edit Wikipedia. Uh, I can tell you in my word, the, the result was it's fun. 
Uh, so well, I, 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 I know as much as before. Uh, the question is if there was really a, a proper research project with, with a suitable methodology that has gone through ethics, boards, and, 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 and done the nine yards. Would that have a chance of being funded, even though it would not directly be connected to outreach or editing or anything like that? Short answer, probably. Yes. We do not generally, we're not generally an academic funder. We don't just fund research for research's sake. But the way you phrased the question was not research of the, I mean, there's plenty of research about Wikipedia, for those of you who don't know, there's a tremendous amount of research happening, particularly in the last two or three years, from researchers from all over the world, from social sciences to computer science to, to psychology to everything. Uh, uh, tremendous output of research around Wikipedia for all kinds of questions that are interesting academically for social sciences, for organizational psychology, for any number of disciplines, but not directly useful, most of them are not directly useful for us in how to increase editorship 